Diviértete mucho, disfruta con el cotorreo. Claro, güey. Vale. Andamos en ello. Y vayas con cuidado, no se ande haciendo el imbécil. Nah. Allá en el de. Increíble. Nah, Arre. Ah, re... La neta sí me va a andar cuidando. Ánimo. Cuídate, carnal. Cuídense, pasen la bien. Igual. I love traveling. I've always dreamed of traveling around the world and such, and thankfully I've been traveling ever since I enjoyed the Cuba school. Drawing has taken me a few places so far, and now it took me to Mexico City. My family gave me a ride to Puebla City since they had stuff to do there, but it's very close to Mexico City. Gotta love my family. Traveling with them makes the six hour trip from Aguascalientes to Puebla feel very short. Chatting and laughing, stopping to stretch our legs and have a snack. We almost ran out of fuel, which was a bit stressful, but we made it to the gas station. We made it. We made it. Right after getting to Puebla City, I took a two-hour bus to Mexico City, and I got there safe and sound, all ready for La Mole Comic Con International. La Mole is one of the big comic book conventions here in Mexico, maybe the most important one, although in comparison it is about an eighth of the New York City Comic Con. It happens two times a year in beautiful Mexico City around March and around September. The past summer I got a call from my brother in Monterrey, Esaú Figueroa, asking if I would like to participate in the convention, in the convention along with him, in a table at the Artist Alley. I really appreciate that he has always had me in mind for these kind of things, and well, of course I agreed on going. So we both coordinated ourselves to go there and meet there, and so it happened. As any other comic convention, La Mole is full of wonderful people and amazing artists, cosplayers, raffles, Conferences and stuff like that happening all over the place and simulta simultaneously. People buying stuff, taking pictures of everything, walking around, feeling the excitement. Bien, ¿y tú? Digo, no te quise molestar ni nada. Oye, eh, ¿es tu cumpleaños hoy? Hoy es tu cumpleaños. Eh, gracias. Feliz cumpleaños, eh, mira. Sí, cabrón. Así fue en friega, pero bueno. Oh, Hay un detallito, eh. Es que chingón, eh. Digo, ah, espero no, te le estés pasando no, bien hoy, de todas formas, digo, que estés así todo en chinga y la madre. Sí, pero... My main objective this first time at the Comic Con was one, get to know more people, network, you know, networking, spread my name and such, and two, to know my audience. Who am I gonna be selling stuff to, what people are looking for, and see what others are doing in order for me to get ready for the next time we hit the Molecon. As I was set up the table with all his art, promotional banner, prints, buttons and stickers from his characters, who actually got really popular around the place, and also was all about doing commissions for the fans and stuff, I would say it was a busy show for him. As for me, three days of constant activity where I walked around, met a bunch of people and drew a lot. I took the comic work to the comic because I'm in a hurry to finish. But aside from that, I was also there to help Esaú whenever he couldn't talk to the clients, or you know, take care of the tables whenever he needed to leave and such. The only downside was that there was no plugs for our phones or the camera near our table. So there will be times that I would go to one of the hallways, plug our devices, and Drew waiting for them to charge. It was fine though. Hola, buenas. No, no, nada. No my mom wanted me to get a Wonder Woman print, 
So that was one of the reasons I had to welcome a crowd and such. Surprisingly, it was a big struggle to find a Wonder Woman print for sale. I couldn't believe it. But in the, in the end, I found something that she actually really liked. And I mean, I couldn't help it. I got some stuff for myself as well. After every day at the con, we will go to have dinner with the rest. It was very relaxing after a long day like that. Saturday was the busiest day, and the busiest day deserves the nearest burger joint to get their most crowded night as well. Just like, as the, just like the tradition says, 60 plus artists all eating and hanging out together, laughing and talking. It was a great night this Saturday, except for the food though. For what I saw, the food could have been better, because well, yeah, I got a milkshake. And so Sunday came, Sunday came and it was busy. And I drew while Esau talked to people, and I talked to people while Esau was drawing. And we got hungry and we ate. The boot was our place to be, and we were there. We became friends with our neighbors too. Great people at their first show as well. We share experiences and exchange sketches too. Actually, one of the girls gave me that box of rice and a tangerine, and to show my gratitude, I gave her a piece of my art. She had seen it before and got interested in it, so I gave it to her. Turns out they have been following both the Saúl and my Instagram account for a while now. But like every show, it has to come to an end. I do appreciate the effort the big names in the industry make to go to that many shows in a year. Don't get me wrong, it's a great experience and all, but it's really tiring. But as for my first experience on a show, I enjoy the whole experience a lot. Getting back home with all those memories and such is really priceless. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I was given. And I cannot wait to do it all over again.